All right, guys, I have a treat for you today. I am here with Heisman Trophy winner Desmond Howard. Desmond, thanks for coming on OTL with us. Now, first questions first. There's, I see all these guys up here on the bus. There's a little space right here. Is yeah. that where we're going to see your picture? That's exactly where we're going to see my picture. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to put up there myself, but it's going <laughs> to be done. Trust me. Keep watching the show week after week. Eventually, my, my picture is going to be right there. A little bit of a subject that you're familiar with, the Heisman Trophy. Could we see a potential winner or at least candidates that are going to New York coming out of this game? I, I think so. I think that uh, when you look at Chase Daniels from Missouri, you look at uh, uh, Ty Reesing from Kansas, both guys have similar numbers. Uh, both guys have a top, top ranked team, so that's key. And both guys are winners. So whoever comes away victorious uh, in tonight's matchup will help themselves tremendously with the Heisman balloting. It's still no you saw the fans. Some of them were kind of mean towards towards uh, Coach Mangino, <laughs> but they were all about his weight. Does that mean Missouri fans are unoriginal? <laughs> Well, I think, you know, when you attack people, you try to attack the most obvious flaws, the most obvious thing that, that sticks out to you. I think that's what they see as his flaws, his weight. They're not attacking his record. You see that, right? That's true. That's true. <laughs> and that's what who on the set of the game day set, who has the best hair? Wow, that's a good question. Well, you know, you know, I don't know if you saw the promo, but, you know, I'm cutting some guy's hair. And, you know, I think Fowler, you know, he... You know, he's one of those guys who probably, you know, when I'm not cutting his hair, he's probably getting a, like, a little $500 haircut somewhere in some salon. And Did he and Al Gore get haircuts with, together? Oh, 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 or Senator Edwards, you know what right. I mean? Yeah, exactly, one of those. So, and of course, I mean, for a guy his age, I mean, that stuff is real. It's not like it's a two-pair or anything, so you got to give him credit for hanging in there. I mean, you, you, a guy who's, I think, is in his 70s and still has a full mane, so that's impressive. That is impressive. Squash this rumor right now. I know they're looking for a new coach. Lee Corso. Candidate or no candidate? <laughs> uh, no candidate. <laughs> Who would win in a cage match? Now, this is the big question here. The Swami or Mark Mangino? Wow. That's a good question. That's a good question. Uh, is it no holes barred? No holes barred. Wow, UFC like a, style, no holes okay, barred. Okay, UFC style. Ooh, man. The beginning of the season. If somebody walked up to you and said, Appalachian State is going to beat Michigan, yeah. and KU and Mizzou are potentially going to play for a title chance, right. which one would you have believed? I would say, oh, yeah, right. You're going to tell me Stanford's going to beat USC too, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my answer. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Desmond Howard, thank you so much for no stopping problem. by. I appreciate you my taking pleasure. the time. Guys, back to you.